Okay, great morning, chit chat, pit cats. A mini me. Well, for those that don't know, I had a thyroidectomy done. A total thyroidectomy. That was um mini me off, 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 off. That was done the thirtieth in the afternoon. <clears throat> so the good news is my throat feels better than it sounds. My voice sounds worse than it feels at this moment. Okay. <clears throat> so it's still sore. But um, actually, um, when I swallow, it's not nearly as painful as it's been the last couple days. So I am coming out of it. <clears throat> You can't see it, but I'm a nice uh, yellow-green here all the way down my chest. <laughs> I wore the green today to offset it a little bit. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> and I'm, you know, still coughing up that gunk that you get when you've had the operation and stuff. Now... Last night, I was able to actually lay down, um, <clears throat> lay, lay re instead of sitting up to sleep, and I'm doing quite fine. So, um, thank God, I don't do well sitting up trying to sleep, so that's better. And yes, I know my voice sounds bad. Um, <clears throat> definitely not going to be singing today. <laughs> but um <clears throat> it does feel much better and I did have okay some um organic um throat coats lemon ginger echinacea thank you Ronaldo he brought me all kind of throat sprays and and you know <laughs> throat lozenges, etc. And um I, I have to say these these did help some somewhat. So thank you for that, Ronaldo. And thank you for all the lovely well wishes and donations, those that sent donations in. And Darcy, oh my God, that's such a big donation. But thank you, thank you for that. <clears throat> now if you were on Hoagies last night, you heard Mr. Max. And yes, I have to take him in now this morning. Thank God at the moment he's quiet. He's not having as much um, difficulty, but I have to take him in to be checked. I think he's got um, the sound and all the hallmarks of congestive heart failure, which is pretty common in these small dogs, and he has had um, difficulties for a number of years, um, especially when it gets warm. Um, he just uh, flags um, in his energy, and I have to pick him up and carry him. Um, <clears throat> so it sounds like his health is... Uh, going downhill. Now, we have nothing open here on the weekend, so I have to wait until tomorrow and see if I can get him in um, to be looked at. But my feeling is he's going into that congestive heart failure. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, I'm not going to watch him suffer if it if it gets too bad, then um, you know I'll I'll let him go because I don't want him to suffer, um, and he'll be on the other side with Miss Rade and and Raj and uh, little Miss Gypsy Moon, and so you know I have no doubt about that. 
Um, but um, of course, he, he would be really sorely missed. He's just the, the most wonderful little guy that you'd ever want to have around. So um, I'm not looking forward to his departure, but I know it's coming because he's getting, it's getting, it's getting worse all the time. Um, yeah, not, not something I'm looking forward to. But anyway, uh, yesterday, <clears throat> I ran across this um, performer that I think maybe RuPaul um, had seen and, and really remind me a lot of RuPaul. Now, this was a performer from the 30s, and he's from England, and his name was Dennis LaRue. And, oh, my God, statuesque. I guess he was six foot tall. And very much similar, like RuPaul. Very statuesque and was so funny. So if you've never seen Dennis LaRue, you can look it up on, um, on YouTube. Now, it was really funny because, you know, I've been doing the, the thing with my wigs and the makeup and stuff. Um, to support the drag community and transgender because of all the hate now. <clears throat> but I found out that he died from actually cancer. He had throat issue, died from that. And he also had a Chinese crested dog. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> So I love that. They had a they have a picture of him out of drag with his Chinese crested. Uh now he had a male. I have a female um Chinese crested. But I thought that was so interesting. And he was just absolutely the most gorgeous gowns and hair and the makeup and his <clears throat> act that he did was so a lot of um innuendo and that type of stuff. It was fabulous. So enjoyed that, uh, watching his performances a bit yesterday. Oh. <clears throat> so anyway, if anybody's tuning in that's going in for a total thyroidectomy, um, just know that the first day can be really, really rough. <laughs> For me, it was really rough, really swollen. But it does get better every day. It gets way better than the day before. That I can tell you. And though my voice is just hoarse and um, kind of, uh, you know, more quiet, it is improving, that I can tell you. Um, so we'll see what happens with it. Uh, but um, I'm, I'm not, it, it's not really painful to talk at this moment. It sounds worse than it feels, thank goodness, <laughs> at the moment. But... Um, yeah, we're, you know, step by step, we, we get through this recovery. Um, but I'm glad this morning swallowing is not a, a big issue like it, it was the first day. I couldn't even have cottage cheese. It wouldn't go down. The only thing I could get down was applesauce. And then the following day, you know, it got a little better. I could eat the cottage cheese and that. And then the next day, um, I did, I came home and I had bone broth and I had cheese and I had um, uh, these rye crackers. Yeah, now the, the rye crisps uh, that I had, uh, you can eat those and they break way down. So that's why I was able to eat those. Um, so that worked well. 
and I was able to have, um, I made some kind of shrimp scampi. Shrimp is um, light enough. It's something that you can chew, and it so shrimp works well um, to have. And, um, you know, eggs, hard-boiled eggs, shrimp, those, cheese, those kind of things um, are easy to eat. So uh, that's what I had for the most part. So we'll see. Today I'm actually feeling pretty well. I think I could maybe actually even get down some hamburger or something like that today um, if I crumbled it up really well. Um, it feels like my throat is um, recovered enough that I'll be able to eat that uh, probably pretty well. So what we'll see. <laughs> it remains to be seen. <laughs> but I got up in the morning, and first thing, I'm taking my Synthroid. And um, I haven't had any kind of uh, reactions or anything from that. It's been fine. Um, so I took that at 5 this morning, the minute I got up. And then at 9... I started taking my calcium, and um, I have it. I have my phone on alarm so that every four hours I take the um, two of the calcium pills again. And what I found works better for me was the ibuprofen. They sent me home with oxycodone. I don't take those things, and even. Like I said, when I was in the hospital and they gave me an oxycodone, it just made me have a massive headache. It didn't touch the pain at all. Um, didn't do a thing for the pain. just made me sleepy. It, that it did. It made me sleepy, but I woke up with a massive headache. I don't understand why people want to take that stuff, how they get hooked on it because it's miserable. <laughs> I hate, hate taking that stuff. I do not like narcotics. I want to be able to have a clear mind. So, um, you know, I immediately put it under the cabinet in the other room. I want nothing to do with that stuff. That, but the ibuprofen actually works better. Gave me more pain relief than does something like oxycodone. Those things don't work for me um, at all. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I got up and then I'm having my um, multivitamins as well now. I have, um, I'm taking these. It's a real good multivitamin. Um, that's called berry melts with iron. So um, I've been taking those. Those are really easy to take. It's it's big, but it um, it's kind of like a um, what do you call it? Like a sweet tart or something. It tastes like that, but it will will dissolve in your mouth. So yeah. So I'm taking those now as well. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm doing well, um, like I said, my voice sounds really hoarse, and, um, the, the volume is down, uh, and everybody says, oh, rest your voice, rest your voice, it, it, it's going to be fine, okay, <laughs> it's going to be. I'm not singing yet, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think that would work out so well today, but it is much better. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. And um, I am definitely taking Mr. Max in to be seen. I'm going to try to get him in tomorrow because we have no services out here on the weekend. Okay. Um, so 
uh, first thing tomorrow, I will try to get him in to be seen. And hopefully, thank God, today he's not having his issues like he was yesterday. I didn't know if he was going to make it through the day yesterday. He sounded so bad. Um, but uh, at the moment, he's sleeping peacefully and quiet. Thank goodness for that. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here, take my vitamin, and um, have some more coffee. And see if I can look on the net, see what's going on. And we're all waiting for the countdown for 45 to uh, turn himself in, or so he says he will. <laughs> Remains to be seen. <laughs> you, can't, you can't believe a thing this guy says. So we'll see Tuesday. Um, unfortunately, we don't get the handcuffs but he will be surrounded by secret service, so he can't go anywhere. Um, they, they do have him. See, that's the one good thing about secret service, being an ex-president. He has to have them around him, so there's no getting away. Okay. <laughs> so that part is good. Oh, thank you for the... I have some belated... Uh, birthday cards as well. So thank you for those. Uh, thank you, Gloria, for bringing over the little turkey burgers with bacon. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to have one of those real soon. Um, so, you know, just thank you to the whole community. I do so appreciate all of you. And we'll see you on Lime.